right, Mr. Miyagi style. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, day two of 2024. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick short one here. I'm actually vlogging with my Ace Pro using the plus two close-up lens. How's it look? Is it pretty clear? Back clear? Good. Um, this is just a response to um, uh, Julie Chen, one of the viewers. Uh, she's asked me to uh, uh, do some suggestions and a review on uh, uh, external storage devices. Uh, if you've been using this camera a lot and you've been doing as much recording and, and, and footage as me, you know these files are starting to add up. Um, I've gotten to the point where I'm just kind of going through them and just deleting the ones that I don't need. Um, like there's so many test videos right so you probably want to do the same because they do add up like an average file for this camera on a 4k 30 HDR um, will average about anywhere from 4 to, 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 to 10 gig and they're one file sizes they don't split them up like GoPros used to do or DJI used to do they split, used to split them up in 3 or 4 gig file sizes this is like a big chunk it just keeps going as long as you, you tape uh, or, or record so these files are quite large. I've had files that are like 16 gigabytes large because, uh, you know, I rant on quite a bit. Hey, it's me. Um, anyways, I'm going to make this really quick. So I'm just going to go through, uh, ex please excuse the mess in my office. Uh, I'm not really prepared for this. I just want to do this quick for Julie uh, so she knows exactly uh, what, uh, what to get in terms of uh, external devices or external storage devices to to uh, store all the, the, the big video files. Um, I have a few. Uh, I've accumulated a lot of drives over the years. Uh, I used to do, I used to sell computers, so I used to uh, uh, build and, and repair PCs. Uh, so over the years I've accumulated so many, people used to give me my, their old laptops and then I would build new PCs for them or order new laptops so I used to sell them too. So. All the laptops that I've accumulated, they usually go to recycling or they go to a uh, charity, but I have to pull the drives out. So I literally have a shelf full of drives <laughs> and, and and most of them are actually still good. So I have drives that range away from like, this is how old I am, I have drives that are like 8 gig and goes up to 1 terabyte drives. And they're in the forms of uh, laptop, which are 2.5 inch, and then there's a desktop, uh, uh, which are 3.5. And they range anywhere from IDE to SATA drives. Uh, so I have a mix of drives. So I'll tell you what I did to recycle those drives. You can actually, if you have them, if you don't, don't worry about it, right? This is just if you have old drives kicking around and they're just sitting there. The best way to do this is, is to pick up, you can get them cheap, is to get the drive docks. Or the, what they call enclosures. So basically what they do is it's just a box with the plug, uh, whether it's ID or SATA, that plugs your old drives in. There's a cable that comes out and turns your drive into an external drive. Um, it's nice to have the 2.5 laptop drives because I have a bunch of them. And you can buy these little enclosures and they're just like the, 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 the WD drives that you buy or Seagate backup drives that you buy in the stores, about the same size. They're not as big. <coughs> Excuse me, because granted that some of the old drives that you have could like most of my 2.5s are only I think 500 gigabytes. Hey, 500 gigabytes is 500 gigabytes. And the funny thing is, I'll buy these and I'll take them with me, uh, these 500 gigabytes with me to to vacation, so I can store all my videos and stuff like that instead of having it on my phone or or having them on the SD card. Because you don't have enough SD cards to hold all the the the, the, the videos that I take. Um, the other thing is there's a couple options, okay, um, for storage purposes. So you can go with solid state uh, uh, storage, uh, which basically stands for SSD. What basically solid state means is that there are no mechanism, there are no moving parts in solid state. It's like the memory in your computer, the memory in your phone. It's literally a chip that's uh, storage. Um, then there's hard drives, okay? Uh, hard drives are typically, they have mechanisms in them. So there's a disc and a, and a reader. So what's the disadvantage of uh, advantages? Well, solid state is much faster. Uh, they're actually more durable. Um, if you drop them, they don't, they don't, they don't break. Uh, well, 
don't you don't lose your information on data because there's no moving parts. Whereas hard drives, uh, yeah, they're more uh, uh, they're a little bit more delicate. If you drop a hard drive, chances are it's probably done. Um, so you have those are two differences. But if you have a lot of those hard drives kicking around and, and you want to recycle them, the best way is to buy a dock. And I've got down in my description uh, links for docks that you can buy. And they're dirt cheap. They range anywhere from like fifteen dollars to fifty bucks, depending on what you want in a in a dock docking system. And a docking system can be either SATA or IDE, or it could be both. Okay, a mix. Uh, chances are if they're mixed, you can only use one or the other. You can't use both at the same time. Uh, I have SATA docks, and you can actually use both SATA slots. So I can pop two drives in, and then you have that extra. So, and it just comes out of drive letters when you plug it in. And they're mostly USB 3, which is probably the fastest you can buy right now. Uh, so I'm just going to go over this really quickly in terms of what I don't want to get too long with this. Uh, has nothing to do with the Ace Pro. I'm shooting on the Ace Pro. Um, that's all it is. Uh, so a little bit off topic. Uh, it's nice to just kind of jump ship from this camera and just do something else. Um, the first things first is solid state. So I've actually, I travel a lot. So if I've actually invested in something like this, you can buy several things. So if you're traveling and you're doing a lot of photography and you have a lot of files, you have to transfer those files from the camera to these drives. Now, unfortunately, with these cameras, you can't really plug the drives into the cameras because they, they, they don't have the same kind of I.O. that computers or laptops or phones do. So I carry a tablet with me. Um, I have the, uh, the S8 Lite Samsung, which is also a pen tablet. So I do a lot of artwork when I'm on, on vacation as well. Uh, so that's my bridge. So I can actually plug my cameras into my tablet and transfer files that way. And I have a huge uh, 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 micro SD card as a backup memory on my uh, my tablet, so there's tons of room on there just to do that that temporary transfer. So typically, what I do is instead of doing, going through Wi-Fi or wireless, because it takes forever to transfer a six, eight, ten, twelve gig file, especially with the Ace Pros. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Um, with uh, uh, with the tablet, it's nice because I plug my camera into the tablet. I download the files onto the tablet. And I can leave it there for now. Like I have enough room in there to leave those files, and, and then I'll go I'll do some more shooting. And usually at the end of the day, when I've done my vacationing or my sports, and I've done my shooting, and I'm at in my room and I'm relaxing, uh, I'll just grab a drink, and then I'm just going to do downloading. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll download all the footage from all my cameras, stills as well as action cameras. I, I run three or four cameras when I go on vacation. So. They're all they're all being used so I have photos from all these cameras that go into my my tablet um, and then from the tablet it can either stay there and when I get them if I get more time uh, I'll just take it from the tablet and it goes into an external storage whether it's a USB key you can buy USB keys the USB keys are tiny uh, those are solid state uh, just so you know um, though those are they're so cheap now you can buy them in one or two terabytes now uh, it's crazy uh, what they're putting in, uh, in these little little uh, modules um, and I usually carry two or three of those and they're usually uh, 500 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes each uh, and I also carry this guy uh, which is actually really neat this is a, a by a company called crucial I'll put the links of these things in my description so you you can go and take a look at them um, this is actually a 500 gigabyte uh, uh, flat drive uh, it's an SSD drive uh, it's neat because it's really fast and it's thin um, and I can just slip it, uh, uh, and, and they're, not, they're not expensive. I can slip it in my, uh, my gadget bag easily. It's just a, a USB cable um, that plugs into this, a USB-C cable to USB-C. And once I download those photos and videos from my camera to my tablet, I plug this one in, I go from the tablet to this thing, and it gets stored away. Uh, and I always do it in two places. Uh, I like to keep, I'm really paranoid with data loss. I had an incident where I lost all my footage from a trip because I, the, the memory key was defective. It just, it just had bad clusters uh, um, and it just, I just lost all the footage. So now I'm a little bit paranoid. Uh, I actually always store back up my photos from my trips or anywhere I go, videos in two spots. So I always have two. If one goes, I always have a backup. So if you want to do that, you can too. Um, memory is cheap. Uh, back, back in the days, 20 years ago, memory was so expensive. Uh, memory storage uh, uh, technology has been so advanced and, and, and data or storage technology is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Um, 
uh, you, this is a form of, of, of SSD for traveling for portability. Um, if you're at your home and you want something that you want a storage base, there's a few options to 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 uh, um, there's a few options you can take. Um, there's what they call a NAS drive, which is network accessible storage, uh, which means that it's a centrally located hard drive, uh, whether it's one terabyte, eight terabyte, twelve terabyte, whatever. Um, they're not cheap once you get into that four to uh, up terabytes um, of 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 storage. But the nice thing about that, it plugs into your network, so it's an Ethernet cable that goes into the NAS drive, and a centrally located. I have two NAS drives in this house. So it's nice because anybody who has internet access in the house has access to that drive. So if I want to send some files to my wife or if I, I have a, I have movies on that drive uh, that everybody can access with their computer, their tablet or their television. Uh, so that's what the uh, NAS drive's uh, purpose is, is to be able to share um, the storage uh, 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 with everybody that's on the same network. Okay, And then you have just your portable storage or external storage, which goes through USB. Um, those are those are specific to your whatever it's plugged in. So that that PC that you've got it plugged into, that storage can only be seen with that PC that it's plugged into. Uh, that's probably the least expensive uh, and the wider uh, uh, use. Uh, it takes a it takes a little bit of knowledge to set up a NAS drive, um, and you do it, they're, they're making it very easy to do. Uh, but NAS drives are more expensive because of that technology in those drives. Uh, there are other ways of creating a NAS system is to buying a NAS enclosure and just adding drives into it. Uh, what that means, I'll show you what I have here. It's kind of tucked away. So hopefully you can see, I'll put I'll put the link uh, for that particular uh, uh, storage system in, in, in my description. So check my description, guys. There's chapter jumps. Um, there's links to these products that I'm talking about. Uh, so if you need that. Um, your first tier of, of, of storage, my first tier of storage for home um, would be a docking station. Like I said, I have a lot of drives, uh, so I'm, I'm utilizing all these drives. I have a ton of those little portable enclosures. I literally have about five or six of them uh, because the portable enclosure, uh, just the enclosures are cheap. You can buy them for like 10 bucks and then you just plug a drive into it and then you got an external storage. So I have like five or six 500 gig uh, 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 external USB 3 storage uh, systems that I can bring with me or give to my, my kids or whatever to use. Because um, you, you, you pay a bit more for them when you buy those, right? They, they start over from 50 bucks and up. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pan out of uh, um, uh, the selfie here and I'm gonna show you what I have. Again, please pardon the mess in my office. I, I haven't cleaned my office and I don't really plan to. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm just gonna pan over. Uh, I'm gonna switch over here. So, grab my selfie stick. Oh, I can see this. Oh, I flip my screen down. All right. So the first, uh, uh, my first one is this guy right here. So you can buy these off Amazon. Uh, this is a Fideco, um, and it's it's actually pretty neat. It's a dual uh, uh, slot drive system. So both of these are SATA. Right, so I have a 2.5, which you would see is a 500 gigabyte, and I had an extra one terabyte Western Digital. Uh, this is a three and a half inch and a two and a half inch. Okay, they're both plugged in, and they all they both act as uh, drive letters. So when you plug this in, and you plug into your computer, uh, it'll, it'll show like a USB drive, and it'll come up with two drive letters. Okay, one for each drive, obviously, uh, and this is USB three, so it's relatively quick. Uh, it's not super fast, um, and it's not as fast as uh, SSD. SSD is, is lightning fast because there's no moving parts. There's no disk spinning and that kind of thing. So that's why SSD is so quick. Um, so transfer rate-wise, uh, write and read will be faster with a solid-state drive like, like these guys right here, okay, or US, or USB key. Like, see, I have a bunch of USB keys right here. See? Um, those are like 256 gigs a piece, and I have... 500 gig uh, USB key, so I have storage everywhere. Um, so this is a neat little device. So the nice thing about this device is it has the two drives, and also has, if you look at the front, on the front it has the uh, memory card readers. Okay. Um, the reason why I, I like that and I bought that is because um, uh, a couple things. Um, I I do a lot of 3D printing, so I'm always transferring files from a US or from a um, uh, 
memory card to the printer. So when I do my work here and I and ex export the file goes on here and I take this and I take it to my uh, to my printer and it gets plugged in there and I print from there. So I have to access memory cards all the time. So I just plug this in and it comes up on my on my computer as a as a drive and I just transfer files. It also has two USB A ports. So it actually it's like a hub. So you actually plug USB A uh, 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 products to this docking station like your like your phone um you know uh, a webcam or, or whatever it doesn't really matter it's just acts like hub right so that's the first tier uh so i have this is my media drive that i pump everything to once i'm done on my computer i'll just pump it here to for storage and it adds up the files are big okay and i also have another one here this is an old drive um, I don't know if you can see, I've got the pure video on, so hopefully it'll, it'll show. So that one I've had for years, um, I actually bought this off uh, AliExpress. And again, it has, if you look at the front, I don't know if you can see it. It also has the memory card ports. Hey, look at that, look how old I am. That's a compact flash card. Do you guys remember any, remember that? Jeez, that's been a long time. You can still get them for uh, SLRs. So this one is a different, this one has a SATA in the back. Uh, um, plug and has an IDE in the front okay so IDE means that it's an old technology for hard drives way back in the years we used to use IDE drives that's all been changed now there's you can't really get IDE anymore it's all SATA uh, uh, technology it's a lot faster and more power consumption or less power consumption um, so the back one this one is a SATA drive uh, and it's a 2.5 now with this with this particular dock uh, because it's a mix, you can only use one or the other. You can't use both. Okay. With the previous one that I just showed you, it's both SATA, so you can actually use both SATA. It's like it's like a it's like a uh, what do you call it? A drive docking system uh, for for networking. Okay. Uh, so that's that's another one that I have, and that's 500 gig on that. I didn't know. Sorry, 250 gig on that. So I have another 250 gig. I have 500 gig here, one terabyte, and I'm going to show you a couple of things too. So if you look underneath here, and I was kind of a mess, guys. You'll see two things. That's my power supply. So this is a uh, uh, my book. This is by Western Digital. This is an old drive. This is actually a one terabyte external USB drive. Okay. Um, so what that means is that it's only plugged into my computer and only I can see this drive. It's a one terabyte. Now this is a what they call Asus Store. It's a um, what do you call it? Um, uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, I'm losing it. <laughs> it's a storage shelf. Okay. Um, it's like the it's it's an enclosure. It's like the ones I was talking about where you can actually you can buy them cheap They're like a uh, 20 bucks and you can put a drive in This is basically the same thing except it's it, it's a shelf So this can actually take I believe three hard drives I've got one in there two terabytes in one uh, shelf So I can actually put up to three drives in this and there and this is a SATA uh, Technology so only SATA drives can go in there now. This is interesting. This is a NAS enclosure Okay, so this plugged it. This is plugged into my network. It uses an Ethernet uh, jack, not a USB jack. At the back. So what that be basically means is when I plug this in and configure it, the two terabyte drive in there is actually accessible with anybody that's on the same network in this house. So if you get into my Wi-Fi, you can access this drive. You know, you can access files, movies, music, that kind of stuff. So it's a shared drive system. And I've got two terabyte on this. I'm thinking about putting another two terabyte because I'm getting to the point where I need more storage, right? Because I save everything. I have photos and videos for like literally decades. Um, and I'm, I've been trying to compile everything uh, uh, to kind of organize everything by date and, and event. So anyways, that's a quick, uh, um, uh, hopefully that helps with you, Julie Chen, in terms of what to look for. Prices will vary. Uh, I'm just going to switch back here. Oh man, I love this pause function. So I'm back uh, in, in uh, selfie mode. Uh, I hope it's clear, guys. I've got, I've got the plus two LED, so it should be relatively clear uh, this close. I'm about, I say, 16 inches from the, from the lens itself. Um, so the, hopefully, Julie, that answers a few of your questions. Again, all the stuff that I talked about, it's in the link in my description uh, where you can find it in Amazon. Uh, they're not expensive. The only thing that's expensive is buying the drives, okay? So if you're going with the external drive dock uh, method, uh, you do have to purchase the drives. And here in Canada, uh, prices of drives, I think one terabyte is about 80 bucks Canadian, 80 to $90 Canadian. So it'd be cheaper in, in, the, in, in the US, obviously. And you can go up to like eight, to, uh, four, eight, 12 terabytes, but then you're getting quite high in prices. If you can afford it, hey, why not? Right? You might as well just do it, right? Because with 
with how storage works, the more storage you buy, the cheaper per uh, per megabyte or per gigabyte it is. So if you were to let's say buy a 64 gig memory card, it's going to cost you 50 bucks. But if you buy a 128, it's going to cost you 75 bucks. So that's the same method it's used for. It's it's kind of like bulk, right? You're buying bulk. So that's the same method they use for hard drives uh, uh, storage pricing. Okay. Uh, I hope that answers your question, Julie. Uh, if there's any other questions, please ask. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I do, and that's what I use for storage. Uh, anyways, peace out. Cheers and respect. Take care. Bye.